It's only in the last century, really the blink of an eye for humanity, that we've actually been able to send messages and probes beyond the Earth. And as of yet, we are still waiting for a response. What we're hearing is just silence. But with millions of potentially habitable worlds in the Milky Way, why is no one calling to us? In 2020, scientists make an unsettling find. A planet almost the size of Earth floating freely through the galaxy, all alone. Did it form there by itself, or has it been thrown out of another planetary system? A planet that shows us that the galaxy is more chaotic and perhaps more hostile than we thought. As we look out through the galaxy, there are many cases where planets would experience much more violent histories, and life might not be able to survive more than a billion years. The rogue planet may be a refugee, telling us about systems far more chaotic than our own. Because not all stars exist alone. Some have company, orbiting one another in a careful dance. So when we look up at the night sky and we see single points of light, which we assume are stars, often what's actually there are two stars orbiting each other, but they are so close together that they appear as one. We're finding that these binary and multiple star systems are actually amongst the most common types in the universe. Sometimes planets orbit both of these stars together, and other times, a planet will orbit one of the two stars, but not the other star. Dawn. Ushered in by not one star, but two. Perhaps the rogue world began its life in a binary system like this. On a planet that's orbiting two stars, there would always be two shadows, and you would see two sunsets. I like to say that science fiction got some things right. What does that feel like? The heat of two suns. Is that a nice heat, or is that too much? There's so many questions around binary star systems. For a time, the planet may enjoy a stable period in the habitable zone of one of these stars. But the peace does not last. The moment there's more than two bodies involved in a gravitational dance, things get complicated really fast. Because each body gravitationally affects every other body. On Earth, the most obvious manifestation of gravity from a body that's not Earth is the tides. The moon affects our tides. What can happen in these binary systems is that this strong gravity between these two stars can shift orbits drastically. This huge combined gravitational force interferes with the planet's orbit creating chaos. There's a very thin line between stability and instability. And when instability kicks in, it goes from a stable system to a chaotic system. And at that point, anything could happen. 